Blast to the past. L let's do this. Okay. Dang, she on fleek. Wait, what? <laughs> Why are they... Why do I think this is just Chloe's idea? <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I feel like an I explosion. I bet she'll notice would be a hole in the up. floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. Chloe's young voice. Why didn't it blow up? Ah! It's not a hole, it's just a patch. It's all good. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever Why you got your shoes on the bed? You're, you're insane. You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. Oh my gosh. But I oh, guess I better do some shit. actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Oh my gosh, okay. So this is Max and Chloe back in the day. I wonder if we're gonna see William. It feels like I've spent off. half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. Sick. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. Wait, does Chloe not even know? Did you like not give her any hints? Like, hey, but heads how up. How do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? Oh, she didn't. Well, that sucks. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Max has nice eyebrows. Okay, well, this is depressing. So Chloe's room was really different before all this crap. Like, I feel- or is it just- no, her bed was definitely over here. Did she like move her entire bed just to, just to freaking hide? I can never maze? tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things, or despite it. There's cooler things to blow up. <sighs> Mr. Sharky, he's not trash. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. It's not trash, but I think the game's gonna make me. So whatever. You better not be thinking. I think you Thank are. goodness. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? It's a stuffed Why do animal. I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Oh my gosh. Past Chloe's pretty dope. Uh, she's funny. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. Did something happen to her when she was wearing it's the hoodie? Really? Okay, that that creeps me out. Why 
is getting rid of stuff so much harder than collecting it. Maybe because you're an overly sentimental hoarder? Me. Granted. But I still need some more junk in the trash pile. Oh. What about this half eaten jawbreaker? A serious That's disgusting. Hazard. Get rid of you that. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Oh my gosh, no. Fine, I'll lick it. You're right. That's disgusting. Why did yes! I do that? The never ending candy lives on. That's disgusting. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, the height chart. Let's check it out now. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. <laughs> it's kind of depressing because we know what'll happen to it. Do I have rewind powers? No. Duh. <laughs> it was worth a shot. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. So she got donations from the Prescott family? Can I, like, zoom in on this stuff? Acceptance letter. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. This this literally makes me depressed. To the parents of Chloe Price, dear parents, Congratulations! Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Whoa! Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26. April 2nd is the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's Office of Financial Assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, whoever Gonzalez is. This makes me so I sad. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Yikes! Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I I hate fake people. You're real. I've heard this Thanks. exact phrase before. Why do I feel like it's Warren saying that to Max? I, I don't know. I've heard that ex those exact lines before. Anyways, let's look at some more stuff. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. <laughs> His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're off to a great start. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of cool. Oh, what's this? Wait, so Chloe was in the board games. This seems like a good candidate. What? Max, I'm being a loser. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? I don't want to. <sighs> you haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if we won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. <laughs> okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. I'm not ready. Lie down. It's time for a nap. <sighs> it's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in 
the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. This is really depressing. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. It's just really crazy how much depression can literally break a person. Like, Chloe was literally so academically smart. Just so... She had, like, everything going for her... Pro donations from the Prescotts. Like, look at... Let's look at her report card. As you what? Know, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE. How do you though? get a B PE? Rest in peace, but... No, like, this is just really depressing. William leaving literally broke her. And, like, we know that, but this just enforces it even more, and it makes me Let sad. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty <laughs> Chloe Bear. <laughs> Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. If it's missing pieces, I just get rid of it. What are you doing? Oh my god. Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. <laughs> My gosh. Okay. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Totally. Yeah, totally. This is I've so cringy. I'm done. Guitar. God, bye. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> I'm cringing so hard. All right. Back to the junk mines. Okay, Chloe Bear, uh, unicorn poster. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. I, I don't remember when Bongo died. Is Bongo still alive? Whatever. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Chloe, what the heck? <laughs> Literally, what? Shady Mesh Abe. I don't know what that means, but what the heck? Oh, they're boy band cards. Ew. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Look, if the boy bands aren't icon, it's trash. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Come on. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Get rid of them. Sharp you boob drops. You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. <laughs> and yet? Our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Oh my gosh, really? Get rid of those. Okay, buckets. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. What? I could literally never. I oh, know, there's me. Okay. That's it. 
I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? <laughs> right. And at now least we've Max got the tried. Whole ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? Clean rooms? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. I'll just tell her now. Get it over with. She'll be pissy the entire day, but she needs to know. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Don't know how oh, to... Shit! Max, hold that thought. I knew she'd do this. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. Oh my gosh. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? Oh no. <laughs> A vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. <laughs> you were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, see my eyes, but too. Is that William? Twitches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! I'm We're in the middle cry. of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Suffers in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek. You've come to the right place, but be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full <laughs> of treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek, but be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows. So that what the entire episode's going to be? Amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And uh why? <laughs> Dude. That was amazing. Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I knew it. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. I'm, a, I'm surprised Chloe literally keeps everything. Like, I knew she was, like, sort of a hoarder, but this is just nuts. Okay, keep out, Mom. <laughs> but William's welcome. Crow's Nest, Saloon, Cockpit, Galley, Plank, Cans, Treasure Keep. That's so cool. The Bane of Arcadia. Bluebeard, Long Max. That's so... Oh, my gosh. Oh, bye! Wait, Pogo. Okay. Pirate rules. No bathing. No boys on the ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Captain's log. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelly, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable a treasure is and wants to steal it from us. 
We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us. Captain Bluebeard and Long May Silver. To more plunder and riches, Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Oh, gosh. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? Uh-oh. So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? Oh, gosh. Uh, Chloe's so determined to find the map. I love how... Any luck? <sighs> nope. You? Nothing yet. Okay. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. Oh my gosh, Miss Shelley was the teacher. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. That's amazing. All right. Great job as always, Chloe. Now please try to pay attention in class to the drawing pictures with Maxine. Amazing. She gets hundreds, so shut up, Miss Shelley. The Civil... Okay, let's learn some stuff. The Civil War began when Southern states wanted to secede from the Union. The President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, gave the Gettysburg Address and issued the Emancipation Proclamation. People who fought to end slavery were called abolitionists. Harriet Tubman worked with the Underground Railroad to help slaves escape to freedom. Wow. In 1864, Congress passed the 13th Amendment, a change or addition to the Constitution, ending slavery. I wish my tests were like this. Okay. Oh, Supermax and Dr. Oh. Klohenstein. That's so cool. Why can't I look at that drawing? I remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what happens. Wonder if I could still get to the end. Oh my gosh. Okay. Max and Chloe's sewer adventure. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. You sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It is so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet the squirrel, page eight. Don't pet the squirrel, page three. I'm not petting some rat, some ratty ass squirrel. Okay. Why don't you like squirrels? They're so cute and nice. You must be very me. What? I, I don't like squirrels. The squirrel seems annoyed that you ignored her. She runs in and steals the book report right off your desk, then runs back outside. That squirrel stole my book report, you tell the teacher. Uh-huh, whatever you say. This is Anna's response. Clearly not believing you. What do you do? Chase the squirrel, stay in class. Well, I gotta get my book report back. As soon as Mrs. Anders turns around, you run out the window and chase the squirrel. That is a very bad thing to do, and you hope you don't get in trouble later. But you probably will. Outside, you look around, but you can't find the squirrel. Is she gone? Oh, there she is. She's standing next to a sewer hole. You run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh, boy. Do you really want to go down there? Jump down the sewer? Find another way. There's... I don't really think there's another way. Let's go to... Let's go down the sewer. You are very stupid, crossed out, brave. You leap down to the sewer. Thankfully, there's a pile of trash, banana peels, and dirty diapers to land on. Phew! Ew! You hear a swirly sound in the distance, so you run to follow it. There are many twists and turns. Eventually, you come to a fork in the road, but now's not the time for eating. So you put the fork back down and consider the two paths in front of you. On the ground, you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and a trail of chewed up paper to the right. Which way do you go? Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to go left just because it's a sewer. There's there's many trash down here. It doesn't mean it's a book report. So I'm going to go to the stupid left. You picked right. I mean left. Which was right? It's confusing. And it doesn't see a squirrel, but he's not moving. In fact, he's dead. Who would kill a poor squirrel? Suddenly, the ground begins to shake, and the, around the corner, a giant rat appears. It's the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest anything you've ever seen. It's the Rat King. The Rat King is wearing a crown and standing on a throne of all your missing homework, including your book or poor. What do you do? Run towards it? Page 12. I'm gonna fight. I came all this way for nothing. I mean, I didn't come all this way for nothing. Your dad always tells you to run towards your problems, not away from them. Unfortunately, you picked a really bad time to start listening to him. You run right towards the Rat King. At first, he's surprised. You try to punch him in his face, but you forgot about his long, hairy, gross tail. He racks you up like a boa constrictor and drops you into his mouth, swallowing you with one gulp. It's a rat. Is it that much bigger than me? Now you get to see what the inside of a rat looks like. This would make a great sash port. Too bad you won't be allowed to tell anyone. The end. That sucks. I'm gonna do this again. I gotta win. All right, blah, blah, pet the stupid squirrel. 
You go to the window and pet the squirrel. Of course, why wouldn't you? It's a cute squirrel and you want to pet it. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, you say, ah, stop biting me. You say, and that's because the squirrel's not biting your hand, but it's too late. You have rabies. Mrs. Anders has to shoot you so you don't bite anyone else. This makes her very sad because she didn't pet the squirrel. Wow. So I was right to not pet the stupid squirrel. It's a weird, crusty looking squirrel. Why would I? All right. So, okay. So I was right to not pet the squirrel. What do I do? Okay. Well... I feel like the answer is to chase a squirrel, but I'm going to stay in class to see what happens. You decide not to- Why? Okay, I'm right. I messed up somewhere in the end. I'm a genius. I just messed up till the end. I decide not to- You decide not to chase a squirrel. When the time comes to present your book for it, you tell Mrs. Anders that a squirrel stole it and ran away. She doesn't believe you. Remember I told you she doesn't believe you? Why didn't you listen? You should pay more attention. Anyway, Mrs. Anders reports you to principal, and soon you're kicked out of school for being a bad student. What? Without school, you can't ever get a job or make money. Now you live in a shack without TV and do drugs. Soon you'll be dead. Guess you should have paid attention. <laughs> what? A shack without TV and do drugs? Do you really have to make these references right now? Do you really? Okay, whatever. So I was right to chase a squirrel, so. Let's, let's find another way. I don't blame you. That sewer hole looks pretty scary. But is there another way down? Suddenly, a light bulb appears above your head. Use it to light the way back to your house and into your bathroom. You step one foot into this. Ew. Foosh. That's, that's more nasty than going in the sewer. I poo there. Next thing you know, you are in the sewer. On the ground, you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and the trail. Chew up paper to the right. Which way do you go? Well, I'm going. I'm going to go left. To, I'm going to go right just to see. Smart choice. You go to the right. Following the path of chewed papers. After a bit of walking, you end up in a dark corner. Suddenly. The floor falls away. You find yourself swimming in some sort of warm liquid, almost like a big puddle, except why does this liquid taste like acorns? A bright light comes on. It turns out you're not in a puddle. You're in a big bowl of acorn soup, and all around you are squirrels holding spoons and wearing tiny little aprons. They look so cute, and the soup keeps getting hotter. Guess you weren't too smart after all. At least it'll be delicious. So I guess I messed up when I said to run towards it. Okay. So, run away, page five. You run away like a scaredy cat. I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run, you almost trip on a small, shiny object. You pick it up. It's a lighter. Your mom never tells... Your mom never lets you play with these, but she's not here right now, is she? Now is your chance to kill the Rat King and protect all students homework once and for all. This is your chance to be a hero. Do you do it? Just kidding. You don't get a choice. Maybe you get to choose some things, but I'm still the author here. You have to attack the Rat King, but how do you want to attack him? If I burn his throne, I burn all the work, so let's burn his tail because that's what killed me. You sign his burn, his grows long, hairy tail. Good plan. Whoosh, the raccoon's tail is on fire. He does not like that one bit. He starts freaking out, waving his tail around like crazy. You know all the trash and dirty diapers in the sewer? Those are highly inflammable, which means the same as flammable for some reason. Suddenly, the entire sewer catches on fire. You are surrounded by grass sewer flames. Is this really how you die? Burning to death with a rat king disgusting sewer? Yes, it is. Okay, fine. I'll freaking... I'll burn his throne. Page 13. I decide, you decide to burn the Rat King's throne. It hurts you to burn all that amazing homework, including your wonderful book report, but you remember that it's for a good reason. As soon as the throne catches on fire, the Rat King begins screaming, No, my throne! Suddenly, the Rat King begins to shrink. For long, he's about to size of a normal rat. He can't even climb out of his huge crown. Aw, he's so cute now. You run back to class and tell Mrs. Anders about all about the Rat King and everything that happened. Not only does she forgive you for not having your book report, but she declares you that you're the greatest hero in the school. Duh. The end. Until the next Max and Chloe adventure. Well, I guess that's the good ending. Okay. Yes. Take that, Rat King. Oh my gosh. That was wild. I'm shook. Okay. That was an experience. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Dope. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. The voice actress for Chloe sounds like she went in a voice modulator or something. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Ooh. Oh! I found it! 
Bingo. Okay, so there's the selfie. There's a weird eraser here. Ruler, watercolor set for some reason. Okay. So where am I? So this is Chloe's secret lair, which I'm assuming is her room. And there's a dark cavern, which you get in with an amulet, and then you go to a treasure island, and then you're at the cap. I'm I'm confused. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? <laughs> Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Oh my gosh. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. Oh my gosh. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Ew. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Oh my gosh. Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! <laughs> I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Sick. Okay. I'm ready! We said she Wait. hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. A broom broom closet? What's a what's a broom closet? <laughs> so what? The entrance to the dark cavern is in there. Bluebeard's chosen hiding place for the mysterious amulet. I've never referred to something as a broom closet. There it is, the dark cavern. Crap. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. Stand on Chloe. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Okay. Maybe this will make me tall enough to reach. Well, at best, let's try. Dude, I don't think I've ever owned an attic. And if I have, never been in it, cause shady as heck. Max got them sneaks. Only another thing. It's to a stand start. On. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's it's probably not gonna be in this room. No. All right. Well, it's a start. So, two box. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. What if you want to pop off, Max? What if you want to beat your face? Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. <laughs> well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Let's see. I'm gonna definitely Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Definitely gonna use a towel to stack on. There you are. Also, don't act like that, Max. We all know you wore makeup later on. Why I can't remember. I sat on top of that crate to get me closer. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. Dang. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. 
Where's Joyce? I want to say hi to Joyce, young Joyce. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. The College of Arcadia's Early Childhood Education Certification Program. This is what you want. We'll find a way to make it work. From W. William. Take the first step. Be the first step. Early childhood education is the first step toward lifelong learning. Night classes available. Well, we know that didn't work out, but... I would have wanted Joyce as my teacher. Most strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? William. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Dope. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Yeah, this episode is definitely gonna have a sad ending, and I'm pretty depressed about it. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking? Hmm. Cigar quit go. Take control back. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Well, Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. Time to snoop. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Uh-oh. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Price. I would like to begin by saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. However, it seems that she's having trouble transitioning to this new, more challenging environment. I'm emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I'm very concerned about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you to take steps to correct it as soon as possible. I'm sure you are as dedicated to close success here as we are. The future needs excellence. Regards, Ray Wills. Well, we obviously know that like her scholarship definitely got terminated because Joyce was literally in debt trying to pay it. Did Chloe get into a school. fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Who's Marissa Rogers? Anyways, King William about to pop off. Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out that day, and if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Maybe if both sides of the story were her before placing blame, your school would be a less challenging environment for your students. Focus on your school, I'll focus on my daughter. Oof, and he got a response. Yikes. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. I don't know who sent this email, but I'm just going to say this was sent to Joyce from someone. These types of people are exactly why I didn't want Chloe at Blackwell. We'll figure this out. I promise. I love you too. From Joyce Price. Subject, e voicemail for you. Forgot to tell you, Mrs. Rogers called while we were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answer machine, but please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. We need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship isn't in danger, but I still worry. Love you. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. To Aaron Price from William Price. Subject, thanks for the pressure washer. Oh, okay, I get it. We're switching through different things. Okay, why is... Why is Joyce emailing William? Can't she just, like, call him? Whatever. Okay, I get it now. Anyways. Finally used your pressure washer today. I don't know what a pressure washer is. And I just wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our dream house, but now it can be at least the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there'll be a cold beer in it for you. Give me a call. Hope everything at work is still going well until then I say hello from Milan. That's dope. Okay. But what can I stack on, though? Aw. Chloe's parents are so cute. I literally thought that was Warren for like 0.2 seconds. San Francisco holidays with William and Chloe. That's cute. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. Now I want waffles. <sighs> Can I get the photo it's out? so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. That's awesome. This literally makes me sad. Like I, like, I literally feel tears, like, just walling up. Oh, okay, a stool. That's good. But let's look some more. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. <laughs> That's so ironic. Toll Bridge and Oliver Sharp Mystery, You'll Pay With Your Life by Ed O'Neill. The I'm not even gonna try you up. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. 
More irony. This won't be big enough for me to reach, but maybe I can stack things on top of it. Almost there. I just need a few more inches. Do I need something else? I must have missed something then. Do I have to go downstairs? I've got to find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. Okay, I missed something and I don't know what, so... Uh... Oh, books. Duh. I didn't go to this if area If I yet. stack a bunch of books on the stool, I could probably reach the attic. Yeah, and dirty you bunch of books in the process. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. Okay. I think that should be tall enough. Please don't fall. Should be stable enough. <laughs> Besides, what's adventure without a little risk? All right, let's try this. Please do not fall. Max, you're gonna fall. Oh gosh. <laughs> 